Hello, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here as always. Today, just like the past four and a half episodes, I know a lot of you guys are wondering why it is that we're in half episodes for the hammer, for the hammer making. That's because there was a half episode where I had to make the, uh, the, the extra piece of tooling for the press that we won't refer to too much by its actual name because it's starting to get a little bit old. So now we're on half episodes. Today is episode five and a half. I still have to make 70 something hammers. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so I've now got 13 or so finished forged right here, and it is hard work. I am already absolutely shattered. It is, uh, this is where it becomes really critical to be conscious of my scale management, how much the piece is oxidizing, as well as being conscious about straightness and squareness and making sure everything's really neat. Before, you can just rush on through and it's just fine because, you know, it all stays pretty straight anyway. But now that the trough lines get thinner, now that we get to finishing off the cheeks, it just becomes super critical to take my time. And so this heat, this one heat is taking much longer than any of the other heats. And there's so much more mental, it's so much more mentally taxing. But I'm enjoying it, it's good fun. Got the Twitch stream going, so I'm hanging out with you guys there. And uh, I've just got to keep adding to this pile. Certainly not gonna get everything finished forged today. Um, hopefully I can get about halfway through. I have, what, 13 done? Two in the fire at a time. Just gotta keep. Change of plan for a second there. My steel supplier has just showed up with a pallet full of steel. I need to take these blocks and put them in there. Steel back in the fire, time to get back to work. So it's now 3.54 in the afternoon. I've got 25 hammers finished forged. And in about six minutes or so, I'm gonna get a call from a radio station in the US. And I'm gonna be chatting with the hosts about what I do and fun things like that. Hello, this is Alex Steele. Mr. Steele, how are you, sir? Mr. Larson, I'm doing very well, thank you. How about yourself? I want you to talk about how you got interested in a trade that while, if I understand the history right, dates back to maybe 1200 or 1500 BC, uh, it's a trade that we don't see a lot anymore, although there does seem to be a resurgence in the popularity of people making things using forged steel. You got interested in this when you were 11. How long ago was that? Uh, well, I'm now 19, so that was about eight years or so that I've, uh, that I've been blacksmithing. And uh, really, I think a great deal of the reason why it is that I got so interested in it is that from a very young age, uh, my father is and was a hobbyist woodworker. So from a very young age, I was in his woodwork shop, you know, making parts on chairs, turning on the lathe and, and learning about woodwork. So I was always pretty, pretty practical. I liked working with my hands. Age 11, I saw some blacksmiths demonstrating the craft at a county fair, and I was completely shocked that this existed. I mean, obviously, as any 11-year-old would be, sparks and hammering things and fire. That is just absolutely any 11-year-old boy's dream thing to do. So I was completely mesmerized seeing this happen, and I just absolutely had to try it. And so it became a hobby in my father's backyard, hammering away, tinkering away with a little charcoal forge. Thank you, sir. Sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. That interview was a great success. I really enjoyed it. I've now just eaten lunch. An incredible meal that I prepared this morning. Mince meat, tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, and cheese. Oh my goodness, it was delicious. Now, lunch is over. It's time to get some more work done. I'm gonna start eating away at this pile of hammers. I dropped it.
peace and quiet. You know, it's quite nice when the machines are all turned off, you turn off the forge, and you sit down after a long day's work. Holy moly. So my plan today was to get about halfway through. I'm about halfway through. Success. I'm really pleased with how the hammers are turning out. I, I, you guys, those of you that bought these back in March, you're gonna love them. I wanna, I wanna mention something. Uh, this, this company sent me these gloves. They are like a leather gauntlet with chainmail on them, stainless steel chainmail. Uh, and I've been, I've been using them every so often. They sent them to me, they didn't, you know, pay me to review them or anything. I've been using them every so often, and I've been using them throughout the entire hammer making process. And um, the downsides to them are, is you don't have any sort of real amount of grip. There's no friction to it, and you lose all dexterity. But, oh my goodness, the heat resistance for, like, quickly moving billets around is unbelievable. They stop a lot of the radiant heat a lot better than a normal glove would. And, you know, they're not really... You, you wouldn't really want to forge one-handed with them because you can't hold on well. Um, but for this, they've been really helpful. And I thought, uh, you know, in the interest of helping, helping a good product get out there, um, especially if it's going to help any other people that are doing kind of similar amounts of production work, this is uh, Male Tech Industries. Male Tech Industries. Um, and yeah, no, I'm, I'm really actually very pleased with these. Obviously, you guys saw some videos where I tried them and I ended up burning myself. That's just because, you know, I was gripping onto something too tight and it was too hot. You know, obviously, it doesn't seem to work so well on the white hot steel. However, with the quickly moving stuff around, it's, it's been awesome. But uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Lars Larson, for having me on the Lars Larson Show. Massively enjoyed that. That was a pre-recorded segment, guys, so I don't know when that's gonna go live. I'll try and publish a link to it if I can ever, if I can ever find a piece of that. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Lots of fun. Please go and check out two more videos. This one right here is gonna be a, it's gonna be a random video that YouTube picks especially for you. This one here, this is gonna be the last video on the channel. Thank you very much. Please hit subscribe. And of course, go get some, go get some cool much. That's always very fun. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.